Good morning. Welcome back to the Old Shed Workshop. If this is your first time here, I'll invite you to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for future videos. In my last video on how to build an extension for your table saw crosscut sled, I mentioned this. This is my cursor that I built, uh, the cursor and the stop block to use on my uh, crosscut sled. So today I want to show you how I made the cursor and stop block and how it works with the crosscut sled. On my bench, I have a piece of plexiglass clamped down to the edge of the bench. My suggestion is if you're going to do one of these, mark, make your cursor before you cut the piece of plexiglass. That'll make it easier to clamp to your bench. So this is as simple as it gets. You can see my original mock when I made my cursor. This was my test, and I'm going to show you how I did it. I just took a, a square right up against the corner of the plexiglass so you're nice and straight. Take a utility knife and score it. Score it a couple of times. You want it to be straight, and you want it to be deep enough for the next part which is a simple red marker. You fill in the line with the red marker. You might need to do this a couple of times because you need the ink from the marker to get down into the, the little slot you've created. You need to get that in there pretty good. So don't be afraid of putting on too much. That's it. So we'll give it a minute just to dry and then the next step is just to take a little bit of nail polish remover. This happens to be non-acetone and it works fine. So you can use either one. That's simple. There's your cursor. Nice clean, uh, thin red line for a cursor. Now I'll show you how I put it onto a stop block and use it on the crosscut sled. Okay, so here's the cursor that I mounted to make a stop block. Uh, this You can make this as wide as you'd like. Uh, mine is, oh, I guess it's about two inches. Yep. So all I did was I centered the uh, piece of plexiglass on a piece of scrap uh, birch plywood that I had. I put a T-bolt so I could mount it to the crosscut sled. A couple of questions arose in the last video I did about making the extension for the crosscut sled. Somebody wanted to know how did I set up my tape measure? I have a right to left le reading and a left to right reading. I'll put uh, links below for those if you're interested in those. So what I did in order to get this accurate, I went from the leading edge of the blade, which if you're doing this on the left-hand side, the leading edge is gonna be in this direction. So I want the tooth that points in that direction. I have a piece of scrap here, it just happens to be an inch. So I use that. I come forward till I get to that leading edge, that leading tooth. Put the one inch piece in there, bring the cursor over, and you can see I'm right at one inch. So now I can lock the stop block, come back so I have room to work. You can make your marks accordingly that you need to have reference marks to lay down your tape. And then once you have your reference marks, you can remove the stop block. I have a, a, a very shallow half inch uh, slot cut in here with a dado. And then you can lay in your measuring tapes. Uh, this is a, a simple way to do it. I know this is a, a Nick Ferry uh, crosscut sled. I didn't need to reinvent the wheel with that. Nick did a great job, and uh, I bought the plan from him. 
instead of buying the manufactured piece that goes on top with the flip stop, I decided I wanted to do it on my own, and it's that easy. All you need is a T-bolt. I see grind marks on this one, so I made this one. Uh, I would get a, uh, uh, an appropriate size carriage bolt. I grind them down. I put a couple of flats on it. I got a T-bolt. So that's how you make the cursor to go on your table saw sled. So thanks. I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.